I just made this video using Motion on Leonardo AI, and it's a pretty simple process. I'm gonna show you how you can do it right now. If I decide to go into Leonardo AI and generate an image, give it a prompt, hit generate, I can get a couple of cool images like this. But I can also come down to generate motion video. So I click that, and I have the option to have a little bit of movement or a lot of movement. I'm gonna come down to about four. Too much can be a little bit crazy, but let's see what we get at four or five, maybe five. I'm gonna keep it public and generate. As you can see, I get this really cool motion video of a waterfall and I can download that and keep it on my computer. And this is the result we get, which is pretty amazing for a click of a button. What's also cool is I can just go into my personal feed at any time, find any image I've created in the past, and I can find this little image to motion button and create a video from that. I get the same options. And then when it's done, it shows up in my personal feed, just like the other one has, and I can click on it and preview what it's done. So we get a video that looks like this and the whole process only takes a couple of minutes and it's a click of a button and it's really, really impressive. But here's another really nifty feature. You can see all the images on the screen here that have little play buttons over them. These are the videos that have been made with this feature. I can go to my community feed and pick an image someone else has made and create a motion video out of that. I can have the same options and generate and it will appear on my feed here. And that's a pretty nifty feature. So as you can see, this is a ton of fun. You can go through to old generations, make new ones, you make them 16 to nine ratio if you want them to fit the screen well, and you can just keep generating video after video and have a lot of fun with it, although it does take up a lot of tokens. However, what happens when we change the motion? Well, let's do a few tests with this image I made a while ago. I'm gonna go image to motion and put the motion strength down to one and hit generate. So you can see the motion we get here is nice and subtle, a nice simple effect that I think works pretty well. I'm gonna do it again this time at five. We've added a little bit more movement this time and I think this video doesn't look too bad. It's still pretty impressive for what we've done with it. And now one more time at full. And with the motion too high, it's just a little bit too much. So you wanna find the sweet spot when using this to get the best results. Now I do think if you have a higher resolution image, it doesn't necessarily keep that resolution. The largest videos I've been able to get are about 1024 by 576 pixels. So I don't think it creates them at full high definition, but I'm sure that in time that will come. Now I've only been playing with this for about an hour or so. It's only just released. So head over to Leonardo AI. There's a link in the description and check it out for yourself. These guys are very quickly becoming one of the biggest names or if not the biggest name in AI art and AI in general. So I highly recommend checking out what they've got to offer and go from there. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Have a great day.